Yep. Just going down this path to the para and I'm already having a boat peep. Check that out. Water. Perfect. This video is sponsored by EcoFlow. Welcome to the video guys. Gonna be having a flick right there once I get down this flight of stairs. You can see I've got my light gear here today. Six to eight pound rod, seven foot and my 2000 reel. And I must say, I need a respool because check that out. It's not looking too healthy. First things first, gonna rig up. I'm gonna put this down and see what we've got in the bag today. That's one, that's the second one. All right, let's get this pouch out and let's see what we've got with us today. So windy one, I might use something that's got a grub tail and let it sort itself out. So we could be using this one here, the squidgy wriggler in bloodworm or maybe a Slim Swims in Bloodworm. I reckon I'll be going for those slender profiles today rather than the thick, thicker ones like the grubs. Oh, look at that. That mullet has jumped three times. So I just walked to the water to have a look before I rig. Looks sort of brown, uh, but we've got a bit of tide, but there's dogs in the water, so that might be an issue. Anyway, all right, true to my word, I actually decided to go with the Slim Swims first up, mostly because it's a bit shorter. So that's what we're going with on the 1 16th ounce. You know what, I should probably cast in a diagonal direction just because of that wind behind me. So at least it's behind us, which is good. Big long cast. Yep, yep, look at that. Wound on. This was second cast, wasn't it? Ladies and gents, let's come in close. Lift him in. You Brimbo. Brimbo for the shroom. But uh, this is my second cast. Just brought him in. He's only a tiny tacker. But we're off the mark. Hard going with scent. Making it a bit, ah, spikety spike there for the shroom. Let's see if I can flip him. Bloop. Well, my hands on my cloth. Oh, look at that, chopping board. We don't need that today. One of my previous night sessions. <laughs> this is my gear. Oh, I'm so bad, gear's always on the ground. Handle down first, that's how you do it. That was out there in the water. Um, Captain Obvious. <laughs> in, ooh, big, big splash there. I know it's mullet, but slowly make our way to the left because there's been some mullet jumping and we'll go into my pocket and go grab that long thing, Bruh. which is the tube. Oh, look at that. I wasn't talking about the scent. I was talking about that splash there. Get a rise. Ooh, that, that sort of freaked me out. I don't know why that freaked me out. I was sort of expecting something. Yes. Oh, I dropped it. That was a good strike too. Probably should have wound onto that one. Just got me in close. I wonder if I'm sort of pantsed already. I think these are all brim here. Might have to just sort of slow this down. Let's dial it back a bit. Let's start whispering. <laughs> Let's be quiet, stand back a bit. They, they hit it in sort of close. That one, that was, a, that was a much better hit than the first fish. I reckon if I head this way, I reckon we'll have more success. Play the game? Let's see. Let's see. I'll wind this in and keep moving. I just want to avoid stepping on dog turds. <laughs> we'll get around some of these boats here. Oh, might have been a hit there. Come on. Not happening. Let's try in close. How's that for a close cast? Yeah, straight away hits. Yes, yes. Look at that. On the cast. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You go, you good thing. Ooh. Thought that they were hits and uh, it's proven to be correct. Let's not high stick my edge rod. Uh, I'm pretty good with not breaking rods. Broom in the hand is worth two in the para. Silly me. I just did all that filming for that fish and throw it back and it wasn't even recording. All right, after that bungle, let us resume us this session. -us. All right, here we go. Back up. Oh, pinpoint corner. Perfect. Perfect. Work it here first for a second. Yes. Oh, I dropped it. That was a good, good grab. We loaded there. Maybe drag too tight. All right, we're in business, ladies and gents. This little pocket of water, signs of life. I see things swinging like mullet. I see a bit of bait popping. The wind out of the equation right now. The only problem is it's very shallow here. Probably won't hit it again, but maybe it's still around these areas. In normal volume once I hook up. Seems rather quiet. Yes! Oh, shaking my head there. Look at the look at those prawns. Did you see that? That's why. Drag was going a little bit. 
dropped him. I gave it a chance to take it. Almost had him. We're going to get him sooner. Oh, we're going to get him sooner or later. We're modifying our approach. We're going to get him. Oh, good hit. Yes, yes. That's the first running fish. We've got him. He ain't getting away this time. Shaking like, like anything. I've kept him away from my feet. To flatty. There he is. Bring him up this way. We'll try to beach him. Cause whoa, I almost stacked it. I've worked hard for this one. We've had to move spots to get this guy. There he is. There he is. There he is. Quick, quick. Four pounds. Not gonna hold like this. Grab him. Gently, gently slide, slide. Boom. There we go. Hey, not bad. Not bad. Looks about. 45. So many hours since my last fish and the last fish that Brim I stuffed up the recording. At least I can do a selfie this time. Check that out. I right, should be good here. Uh, there he goes. Let's get back into it. This is sort of making me think now. I'm not going to be stubborn. Lights going down. We're going to change to the smallest scrub we've got here. We keep getting hits but we cannot hook up. And one thing that's separating us is the size of this lure and my laziness. So we're not going to be lazy. We're going to actually re-rig. There it is. Two inch grub motor oil. The two inch, not 2.5. We're going the mini. Here we go. Two inch with the S factor. If we're still getting hits. Let's see if I'm right. I could be wrong here. Light is fading. Yep. What in the world? On four pound, I think we're stuck underneath. I think we're stuck underneath. Let's just walk out here. Just walk him out. Let's just walk him out. What in the world? That was first cast, guys. I'm gonna be heartbroken if we don't see this fish. I can feel it rubbing. I can feel, I can feel it rubbing. Unfortunately, video cut out after this and we didn't get the fish either. Oh, I struck because like that last one, I'm not going to give it the head start this time. I'm not just going to like casually load on and then find myself 50 meters under. Dropped him. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, this is a good... This is a good hookup. Please, oh, felt something. This is a good hookup, this one. I don't know if it's a big fish, but... What? Look at that prawns. <laughs> oh, you gotta laugh sometimes. <sighs> Two inch grub. This is what it took to hook them. I probably could have caught a billion of these, bazillion of these, if I just changed lures. See it? So the lesson there is <laughs> don't be stubborn. Ah! Probably deserve that. Nice colors on that. All right. While I have this next cast, we're gonna cut to the sponsored segment. All right, ladies and gents, we're at the part of the video where I'm gonna have to talk a little bit about today's sponsor for the video. The company is called EcoFlow. They make a lot of products, mostly relating to energy solutions. You know, you've got portable power banks, power stations, things such as this, which is a 110 watt solar panel. You know what, instead of explaining it, let's take a closer look. Hit the outdoors on your fishing and camping trips with EcoFlow River and keep up to nine devices powered at once. Perfect. Two AC outlets and X boost mode, it can power devices up to 1,800 watts, such as a hairdryer, vacuum cleaner, or even a lawnmower. Recharge from 0 to 80% in an hour with EcoFlow patented Xtreme technology. Of your off grid, the addition of the EcoFlow 110 watt solar panel can charge it. Durable and waterproof, it comes with a carry case that doubles as a foldable kickstand panel. 
And folks, if you happen to be interested in any of the products mentioned thus far, it just so happens that EcoFlow are extending their biggest promo of the year for this Christmas season. That's going to go until December 28th. So you can go get yourself or your family an EcoFlow as the best gift for this summer. Go check out the links in the description below to save up to $700. 5% off code for River and 110 watt solar panel on their website and Amazon. The code is SHROOM. All right, so that gets to the end of this section here, EcoFlow. If you guys are interested in these products, click on those links in the description, find out a little bit more about that. And by the way, I must mention they are affiliate links. But anyway, thanks again for sponsoring this video, EcoFlow, and let's get back to the main action. Sun is setting now, 10, 15 minutes before it gets real dark for the session, but we're gonna see if we can get another one. Whack, whack, whack. And the snag gave me back my lure. <laughs> Interesting. I don't know who rigged that. That looks like a weird contraption there. It's got a sinker onto a jig head. My gosh, running sinker onto a jig head onto some random plastic. A few moments later. Seems like I set it right and then when I'm in the fight, it, ooh. My gosh, this is fun as, you know, besides from like getting a few scares, Man, let's even get a few more before it actually shuts down. I don't know if you can see anything, but we're just going to keep going. Yep, got him. Got him there. We're going hard this time. Brim number three. Ladies and gents, two inch grub, let them pick it up, load up. They have to get the run on. Look at that under the chin. Look at this one, I don't know what's wrong with his face. Oh my gosh, you need some plastic surgery. It looks like a tar wine, but I'll tell you, it's certainly not. It's a deformity on the chin. Look at that. Definitely a brim, 100%. No tar wine, and look at his head. All right, we'll send him back. <laughs> oh, dropped it. I don't think you guys can see anything. If you can, you would have seen my rod tip move towards the water. They haven't quite gone off the bite yet. But Houston... We've got a problem. Lights. I don't have a head torch either. Not r right now. Not on me. It's all on feel. Snag. Yes, got him. Got him. Got him here. Ooh. Got to burn off a bit of the energy first. I'm not going to call it small or big. It's around something. Can't see but it's around something. <sighs> it's around my hand. <laughs> yes, sir. There he is. This must be a little bit better in the light. All right, what an interesting session. I just snapped off hooking onto another brim, but on four pound liter popped me straight off so that's going to be the end of tonight's session today's session uh look it was quite interesting very eye-opening for myself i can't believe how hard brim can pull there's something wrong with my gear there is pulling in over there but guys hope you enjoyed this one like i did smash that like button and watch this next video with a little less plastic